This morning, I woke up and I was like, I need to do a ritual, I need to do a ritual. Whoa, the calling was so strong. So, I went to this beautiful place here where the trees are sitting on the ground. I got some stones behind me. <clears throat> and um, as some of you know, like I use my rattle to tune in. And um, yeah, there were certain messages coming through that I want to share with you. It's about the state of the world right now. Like um, everything going on with the coronavirus and things that happened before. And, you know, the biggest message that came through actually is that it's about death and rebirth. And I was being asked, like, how comfortable are you with death? Like, death of your life, death of like how your life was, death of yourself, death of others. And how much do you understand that death is connected to life and that death means rebirth? That was like, that, that was a message that kept on coming back and kept on coming back. Another message that came was that. What's happening is actually not so different than what's happening that what is or was happening to the trees on fire, like the fires, like one tree getting the fire next to the other tree, that tree getting the fire. And it's like we as human beings, we're like experiencing the same. We're experiencing the same because we're not listening when it, hap when it happens to trees or to nature. So we're like, okay. Let them, like, experience it themselves. So one human gets the coronavirus, the other human is getting the coronavirus. And it's like, how, how, how willing are you to change? How willing are you to give up certain things? How willing are you to give up your life? To let it be dead? How willing are you to give up your material stuff? Do you believe you can live without all the material things you have now? It's like, it's like going back to the ancient ways, you know? That's another thing that came true, like, how, like, what are your thoughts right now? Aside of the fear that there's like a lot there, but how are your thoughts like what are you thinking like, what are you thinking like what the solution is or what you need to do like where are your thoughts heading to how comfortable are you with like being simple again going back to the land just standing still how comfortable is that for you to stop to stop and to see what happens. We've been we've been having an era, we've been having a system for so long and like another image that I got was like a balloon and was going up, 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 up and poof, suddenly it exploded and went down again. Like we've been having a system that's been taking so much. It's been taking so much and we're like we're actually okay with just living with nature. Like, nature provides everything for us. Everything. But we wanted more than, like, just the nature. So we created so many more things. And in that, taking the resources. In that, taking everything nature provides. Just taking it. Without consulting nature. Consulting the earth. So we, as human beings, we were so selfish that we wanted more and we were just taking without feeling the earth, without asking the earth. What the fuck? Yeah, so now we're here and we will have to deal with it. <laughs> um, yeah. And another thing that 
came up was how important it is to to ground and to like sit with your butt on the ground, go to a tree, go to nature. Um, don't like let yourself be fed the whole time with like all these woo energies because it's really like you are. Um, try to find ways how you how you become calm again or you know anchored in a way um, grounded because that will help not only you it will help everyone it's set and rebirth it's set and rebirth